Okay, so iOS 18.0.1, this minor iOS 18 update has now been out for a little over a week. So I've had some time to actually test the software and there was a handful of features that Apple was looking to address or issues that Apple was looking to address with iOS 18.0.1. So in this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick follow up on my experience so far with the latest update for iOS 18. And now the first thing I want to mention is that iOS 18.0 is no longer available, is no longer being signed by Apple, which means the official software release for iOS 18 right now is 18.0.1, and that's for good reasons, obviously. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is security updates with the latest OS. So if you haven't updated your iPhone to 18.0.1, this may help entice you to update to 18.0.1. So take a look at this. This is about security content. So these are security issues being addressed here. There's two security issues. Number one has to do with media or the microphone on your iPhone. So inside of the messages application the microphone on your iPhone may capture a few seconds of audio before the indicator shows up on your screen so this is an issue that Apple is addressing with the latest update on iOS and iPad OS now the second issue is voiceover may be able to read out loud a password in the password application if you use the voiceover feature obviously you don't want anyone to hear your passwords inside the voiceover app so two issues being addressed here with the latest update 18.0.1 now with watch OS 11.0.1 Apple address a few issues as well so if your Apple watch would randomly restart that is an issue that Apple has fixed here with the latest watch OS update Apple music issues where the app may crash on Apple Watch randomly when loading media. That's also been addressed here. Most importantly, battery drain was also addressed with the latest Watch OS 11.0.1, especially on the newer Apple Watches. So just keep in mind that if you experience massive battery drain, that has been addressed here as Apple acknowledged this on their release notes. There was also touchscreen issues on the new Apple Watch with the latest Watch OS 11. So 11.0.1 .1 has addressed that as well. And obviously the messages application was also crashing when sharing a watch face through the messages application in watch OS. So shifting back to iOS 18.0.1, there was about five issues that Apple was looking to address. The three main issues was touchscreen, camera, and messages. So touchscreen issues where some iPhone users 16 and 16 Pro for the most part were having issues with the touchscreen not responding. It appears that that has been addressed properly with the latest OS. Now also camera freezing issues, that's been fixed here as well. And the messages application crashing when you share an Apple Watch face through the messages, that's also been addressed. Now in terms of performance, I wanna talk about performance because we've seen a spike in performance here as well. And this is great news. So take a look at the performance here on this iPhone 15 Pro Max running iOS 18.0.1. The single core scores 2,000. 962. Compare that to iOS 18.0. 2,663. So take a look at the spike in the single core performance there and take a look at the multi-core performance, 7,349 on iOS 18.0.1 and take a look at iOS 18. Right there it is, 18.0, iPhone 15 Pro Max, 6,574. That is a major bump in performance on the latest OS. And Apple did mention that performance issues were being addressed. There were some issues with memory allocation, especially on older devices. It appears that Apple has definitely improved the performance from iOS 18.0 to 18.0.1. But not only that, the battery life has stabilized. I have to say so far, the battery life has been phenomenal on iOS 18.0.1 on the newer iPhones and the older iPhones as well. So overall, great news. If you were holding off to update to iOS 18.0.1, definitely do. 18.1 should be available late October with Apple Intelligence and a lot of new features. So make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. All around great news with the latest bug fixes on 18.0.1. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.